Right, now listen, apparently actress Cameron Diaz has fallen for some Essex charm in the form of model Paul Sculfer. It's been reported that they're allegedly in an open, don't ask, don't tell, relationship. But can women really have no string <coughs> flings without it getting complicated or somebody getting hurt? Does that sound like something you'd be up for, Carol? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. She think, should be so lucky. Hmm? Well, the thing is, right, I, you know, in, in, in a sense, no, don't take this the wrong way, but I think that would be the ideal situation because I don't particularly want to have a relationship. I don't particularly want to get involved with anybody, but I would quite like someone to come around a couple of times a week. <laughs> You know, and Picture I mean, yeah, yeah. but and I just don't know. I just wouldn't. Yeah, I, it wouldn't bother me. I wouldn't ask questions. It wouldn't be any of my business. You know, because that would be the kind of arrangement which, you know, in a way, it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. So I think you'd it's be perfectly, perfectly happy for this arrange this ongoing arrangement which you've described. Yeah. That they then went off to somebody else's house a couple of times well, a week. Well, because but I wouldn't know about it. You know, and the thing is, even if you you think you're in a relationship where you know you've made a, a deal or whatever where you're not going to sleep with other people you don't know that other person isn't sleeping with somebody else so if you don't ask I me mean, what you what you don't know about can't hurt you it's not going to bother me anyway yes. but i don't want to talk about it you know i don't want to say word, one word what hygiene <laughs> <laughs> i'm very hygienic no i know you are i know you are but i couldn't bear the thought that even if you was in your own relationship and i had a bit of a fling with a younger man after my marriage ended and it certainly wasn't the one, and I wasn't looking for any commitment or anything, but it was definitely, well, I hope it was, it was definitely just sort of him and I in the relationship. I don't like the idea of them having been anywhere else. Yeah, but they would have been somewhere before you. I mean, what's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. We're not during at the same time. But, you know, later. I just don't know what the problem oh, is. No. People oh, shower. No. That's messy. <laughs> The thing is, we're, we're so brought up, women, aren't we, that we've got to be good girls, and, uh, and men get away with it, and it's not a problem. They're the great guys, aren't they? But I think women are slightly changing now. I was always so focused on a relationship that was going to be a husband. I went into every relationship thinking, right, this is, this is who I should be going for now. And I was very blinkered and a bit dull. I was very, very dull. And I can see why they all... We're not arguing. You know, it's... <laughs> I can see why they, they yeah. did fall no, apart. No, you just didn't have that much fun, did no, you? I no, I didn't. I didn't have much fun in, in relationships in the past. And then I met someone who I knew I didn't want to end up with. I didn't want to marry. I, didn't, I just wanted some fun in my life. Mm. And it was the best time I probably had. And it made me appreciate now, you know, a different relationship and bring a bit more fun into it. So I think it did me yeah. good. So you I didn't think, ask questions. I think the problem no, is that women are... Women, you're, you're, it's, it's kind of bred into you that, you know, if you have more than one partner, you're a slapper. And if you, you know, enjoy sex, you're a slapper. And me, oh, men are different, you know, they have different kind of relationships. But I think, I, I, to pick up on that, I think if, if you can get your head around the idea that it's a relationship, it's not going to be the father of your children, you're not going to marry him, but it's fun and you have respect for each other and you like each other and you have a, a fun, good, sexy time. When you do meet somebody that you fall in love with, mm. you can actually tell the difference. Yeah, you know, you know straight away. There's a huge yeah. difference between just thinking of somebody casually, and I don't mean going around having loads of casual sex, mm. but you've got to have some of these, those relationships to the understand contrast. what it's like to yeah. be really in love. And like you say, if you haven't had other sexual encounters that aren't about the emotional involvement, how are you going to know what to right. enjoy and what to... And also, I suppose it gets messy if, if you do, pardon the phrasing, talking <laughs> hygiene. <laughs> um, I suppose it gets complicated, better word. Um, if during the course of this no strings relationship, say your gentleman caller who calls on you twice a week. Well, he doesn't. Well, no, but no. <laughs> talking in but the realms of fantasy. <laughs> but if, say, that was to continue for some months, what if you were to form an attachment? What if well, you to, one of you was to start, you know, wanting more? It's well, not no well, strings anymore. No, because, well, I don't know, because I probably wouldn't enter into that kind of arrangement with someone like that. Because, as, as Linda says, I mean, you do kind of know. You know, if. If, and you know, needs must. At the <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm not going to have to. I'm going to have to go you know, down a few steps. And that will be fine. But I, I, I probably. No, I know. I it's wouldn't. A, <laughs> it's a really wonderful thing. And, and I, uh, Jackie and I are very similar in our uh, upbringing and everything else. We look at you as, you know, you're so sophisticated. out there and, and you can do that. But there's an awful lot of women probably in the audience and watching at home. <laughs> 
who are more like, oh, I couldn't do that. I don't think but a lot of women can say that. They've been told by, yes. you know, generations of men, obviously, ha ha, because oh, men yeah. might not like the idea that suddenly well, we can don't. have a fling, mm. you know, and turn around and say, thank you very much, goodbye, and make them cry. They'll all be in tears out there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and, and also, it, if, it were, if it were to happen, it would probably be all right for, I wouldn't ask any questions and I wouldn't mind too much if, if he was going elsewhere for it as well, but I doubt very much if a bloke could do the same thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're far more they precious about the women well. that, that they're sleeping Absolutely. with. Yeah. Mm. So, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs>